We've always been big Frank Stallone fans, like huge Frank Stallone fans. Uh, you know, some of his work includes music uh, that I haven't heard and uh, movies that I have not seen. Um, but I like Frank because it's got to be tough to be the brother of a megastar and you hang in there and you have a good attitude about it. This was our interview with him this morning. All right, so Frank's been acting and doing music for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's on the phone with us. You're not lying to me. I'm not lying. I told you we have him. He joining the show now, actor, musician, and a guy I'm a big fan of. Ladies and gentlemen, not kidding, Frank Stallone on the phone. Hey, Frank. Hey, Frank. Hey, good morning, Lou and Ethan. How are you guys? Very good. To We're work doing well. To you, man. You, are, you were saying that you're uh, just trying to come down from the high of the uh, seventh game of the World Series yet. Yeah, I think it was one of the great, I think it really was one of the great World Series. I mean, the two have two down and outers that combined haven't won in 178 years and both really wanting for it in the way it was just shifting back and forth pitchers and hitters and it's just incredible did you have a horse in the race are you a fan of one of the teams or you were just checking it out as an outsider uh, i was going i was going for the cubs you know because i think chicago is a wonderful city as is as is you know cleveland but chicago the i mean they just haven't been able to catch a break in 108 years since william taft was president so put the Wow. <laughs> that does put it in perspective. Wow. Yeah. You know what? I'm sure yeah, you probably did, you didn't expect me to bring this up, but I'm buddies. Uh, I haven't talked to him in years, but I, I was close uh, with the guys from the band ZO2, and you did the show Z-Rock years ago playing yourself. I did. That was really funny on the independent uh, channel. Yeah. You know, I, it, it, it's really weird. I have, like, the weirdest following because, you know, doing music is one thing, but I've done some, you know, strange movies, like, not strange, but, you know, at that time, you know, Barfly and, you know, some interesting movies like that. So I have a strange fan base. You know, it's kind of mixed. And I didn't even think these kids knew who I was, you know. But, <laughs> but the, No, jo I Joey, mean, Joey's obsessed with you. <laughs> That's a real-life thing. I know. It was very funny. I mean, I was coming out of a trailer wearing a blanket. I mean, it was kind of interesting to show. I thought it was a cute show myself. Yeah, it was a good show. Came off the air too soon. We're talking to Frank yeah. Stallone uh, this morning. You have so so many things going on. I'm looking at uh, the information I was sent here. Um, what, you got an album coming out too? Well, you know, I'm always recording. I mean, basically, it's almost like to come out with an album nowadays is almost futile when Paul McCartney's records end up in Starbucks. So I'm not <laughs> really uh, chasing that too much right now. But yeah. concentrating more on the uh, live music. I basically, you know, I've done 73 movies, but that, that, that industry's kind of changed and dried up. So I'm, I'm basically doing what I started out doing uh, when I was, since I've been 15, playing music. And it makes me really happy. And, and I'm very fortunate to still be making a good living out there playing. I have a great band. And uh, that, that's, you know, that's what I'm concentrating, just concentrating on what's happening. If a good film comes up, yeah, if it doesn't, what are you going to do? Actor no. and musician Frank Stallone. Got Frank on the Stallone show. on the show. I know we got Frank Stallone on the show. Go back to what you just talked about for a second. The movie industry is completely changing, and everything is is, is the digital stuff. It's Netflix and Hulu. Mm -hmm. And yeah. do, do you like where it's headed, or you, you miss the old days? Well, I kind of miss the old days, but I do like Netflix. I think the content is really good. But I mean, the music record, the uh, the uh, film business, with as far as acting goes, you know, I did a lot of movies. It's either guys that are getting stupid money or guys that are doing low budget scale, which will buy you a drink at a bar. You know, <laughs> so uh, so it's there's no it's like our society. There's no middle class left, so there's no middle ground now in in the movie business. So that's why a lot of these actors that were big actors are doing TV series. I mean, Nick Nolte's doing a series. You know, I mean, so all these people. I mean, look at Kevin Spacey, two time Oscar winner. You know, Netflix, House of Cards. So. It, the, the fact of the matter is that more people will see you on Netflix than probably the next 10 movies you'll make. It's sure, just, yeah. The way it is. And, but it's also oh, open, and, open the doors from a content perspective, the way you said, because there's, there's, more, there's more ground you can cover. It's more acceptable. You don't have to kind of fit the constraints of the network. No, no. I mean, it's really, it's, it's really great, you know. So, you know, I don't know if you've been following us on Instagram. You know, I'm in a head-to-head -head battle with my brother's Pomeranian, Woody. <laughs> Because I'm almost embarrassed to say he has so many, almost as many followers as I do on Instagram, wow. which is disgusting. <laughs> a three-pound Pomeranian. And my nieces, who are teenagers, have like 200,000 followers. I have 19,000 followers, and no one knows who they are. Frank, what's going on? Frank. I'm, I think I'm losing the touch, kids. So if you want to help Frankster out, just go to Frank.Stallone on Instagram. 
because we're getting down to the final wire, and my brother's making me look bad out there with his dog, so I cannot, I cannot fail. We can't have Frank Stallone losing to a Pomeranian on no. Instagram, so no. everybody... Yeah, uh, I mean, come on, people. Is it Twitter or Instagram or both? It's, that, that's more on Instagram, because then you'll follow... There's some videos of my brother filming Woody and I. <laughs> make, making me look bad. And my niece is all ganging up on me. I mean, he is the cutest dog in the world. I mean, they have boxing posters of me and this dog that looks like a miniature lion. It's really funny. It's a dog. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm losing my touch. What can I tell you? It's, Ladies and gentlemen, Frank Stallone on our show, finally, right here on I-95. Hey, Frank, thanks for spending some time with us. It was great. Hey, guys, you too, uh, you know. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. We hope to talk to you soon. I hope so. All right, everybody go to frankstallone.com. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, buddy. Nice guy, man. Real nice guy. <laughs> you know, you never know what these guys... Um... You wanted me to get him to do a sly impression. That's not. That's not. Right. I know. I, yeah, I thought about that. That was the wrong move. You know what it made me think of? It was your son because he called this morning to say, you know, I'm my own person everywhere I go. Yeah. He said, "You're Ethan's son. You're Ethan's son." He's been living that his yeah. whole life. You're Sly's I, brother. You're Sly's brother. Right. That's just horrible. I'm a person too. <laughs> I have I'm a feet person feet. too. I have feet. <laughs>